This is Fat B Man, and we're going to talk about timing of your queen cells. Everybody has to, wants to get into grafting, and they're just picking larvas of all different ages. Well, I've got a box here that's going to get you right on time. You can get these grafts right down to the hour once you start practicing. It's a standard 10 frame box. And what I'm going to do is just go through the box and show you what it's consistent of. It's a standard 10 frame box. We got three frames here. We got three frames here. And these four frames right here is where the, the queen is going to be confined to. And the queen cannot go across to the rest of the hive. She's confined right here. And what I'm going to do is pull out the center frames and then you can take a look. This box is not being used right now. What we have here is a queen excluder on each side where the queen cannot get out. And we got a feeder here which sits flush right on here. You can see when that goes across on that lid, it is flush. There's no way the queen can climb across because we've got our partitions up here. And what we do is if we want to graft and we want everything to come out right on time within, let's say, an hour to three hours, we'll come in on Sunday and we'll pull one of the frames right out of the center here. Either one of the... the this, this actual the left or the right one in the center that's where the queen has been and we'll put it exchange it for one on the side we'll just exchange over here and put this one over here now that queen will start laying in there on Sunday we come back on Thursday everything that's a larva in there we know exactly how old it is that's one way we can uh, get our timing down and once we graft from it then we'll put it back in in another position here and we'll rotate it on Thursday and then we come back three days and do the same thing over so you want to let them sit in here where the queen can get them for three days then you know you got three day old larvas in there now the feeder is very important I'm going to start selling plans on the web page this feeder is constructed different than the other ones we got it has to fit to where the queen cannot get across it'll hold about a gallon and a half the bees come up here come up here the queen cannot get across here, so the bees are feeding through the queen excluder. Now, if you're going to make good queens, it's very important to have good feeding here. And you can mix up some mega bee or a little stimulant, put it in here, and the more you feed those, the better the cells you're going to have. Now, these things here, one box, you can do about 500 cells a week with no problem at all. Because we take one frame. Now, this is where you use your timing box. Now the next box, I'm going to make a video on the next box, what a, start, uh, a cell starter is. And that way, you put them in there and you get all the bees to draw the cells out. And when they cap them off, then you put them into your cell finisher. And I'll also do another video on doing it in a five frame box. So if you just want a dozen queens, you can do it that way. But personally, this is set up for larger operations. Cutting cells is more natural. Cutting cells, you can have all the cells you need. You can't build boxes fast enough, and you'll have a better queen. Those bees can pick better larvas than you'll ever pick or ever I pick. If you like these videos, send a little donation. Keeps the videos coming. Appreciate you watching.